difficult illness in medical science that is paraxia of unknown origin. We are receiving patients for fever of around 10 to 14 days remaining undiagnosed despite a lot of investigations and fever persisting for around a first fever persisting for around 10 to 14 days in the range of 102, 103 with or without rashes and uh, in the last couple of years, we have received a number of cases of PO ultimately diagnosed as a case of strep typhus. People of patients of strep typhus generally present to us with a history of fever of 102 to 104 degree Fahrenheit with chills, and these fever are generally associated with centrifugal rash, means rashes evolving from the trunk and then gradually spreading to upper limbs is sparing generally sparing the lower limbs the rashes are typically non-blanching maculopapular rashes with lymphadenopathy people have typically a history of traveling to some coastal areas <coughs> traveling to some coastal areas and uh, living in a forest or some um, Habit, have they are living in near some pond or lakes like things. Look, scrub typhus is generally caused by a mite known in our term in the medical science as thrombiculoid mite. In the common term, they are known by the name chigger. This, this is a small mite being very often unnoticed by the people being bitten by the, that mite. And generally after an incubation period of 10 to 20 days, People develop high grade fever in the range of 102 to 104 with chills uh, and sometimes may, but this is not compulsory, there is a central scabbing at the site of bite with annular margin which we call it as a scar which is generally pathognomic if detected in that the site of bite, a scar, presence of a scar itself diagnosed that it is a case of strep typhus. Number two, the rashes typically rashes develop after an after a period of generally five to seven days after onset of fever and uh, fever remains undiagnosed in c it, it is caused by strep typhus is caused by a rickettsia um, rickettsia named rickettsia projecti and uh, the treatment is very simple basically the treatment is very simple and if left untreated Patient developed typical rickettsia sepsis, mimicking dengue with severe thrombocytopenia, leukopenia, uh, elevated transaminase, and. Uh, they should be very cautious while traveling to some forest or some traveling to some coastal areas about the bite. About the bite, the bite is most often left unnoticed. The moment, the moment they are traveling to some coastal areas or some forest they can prophylactically take one dose of doxycycline 100 mg or the moment they are getting fever they should undergo strep typhus screening like IgM based test, Bale Felix test and uh, if fever should persist for more than 103 to 104 number one number two fever should persist for more than three to four days and it there should be or it may it is not compulsory that you can or cannot get any scar. If a scar is there, diagnosis is self-confirmed.